Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is David from Right Line Trading. If you can hear my voice and see my screen that says Money Flow Tracker Software, if you would type in the questions box where you're from. Thank you. I don't want to be talking to myself for the next hour or so. Okay. I see there's uh, a few of my uh, trade room members here. Oh, Brett from Sarasota. I live over in, uh, in the villages. Uh, you got Helen from Gold River, California. Kawaku from Guyana. So far, you're the furthest away. Okay. So we're going to get started here in about five minutes. I'll be back. I know I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs>
Okay, we'll just give it another one minute. We got a bunch of people coming in right now. Alrighty then, we're gonna get started here. So my name is David and I'm with Rightline Trading Software. And today we're going to be speaking about the Money Flow Tracker software that uses mathematical modeling combined with artificial intelligence. Okay, um, so this is the group over here at Rightline. That's me up in the top right-hand corner. Uh, below me on the bottom right-hand corner is David Wise. He's in one of the other rooms. And to the left in the corner is Craig Emery. Uh, Mark Miller is the owner. Rory Powers is the, uh, the guy that takes care of everything. <laughs> Sergio is the programmer. And Charles and Brock are our support teams. So let's get the disclaimer out of the way. Uh, basically, this is saying that trading futures and options have larger potential risk, has larger potential rewards. You must be aware of this in order to accept and invest in the futures options markets. Don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. This is neither a solicitation or offer to buy or sell futures or options, nor representations made that any account is likely to have profits or losses similar to those discussed on this webinar. You need to fix that. Past performance of any trading system or methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results. Everything we talk about here is for educational purposes only. I'm not a licensed, in, you know, uh, uh, whatever you call it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All right. So this is me. My name is David Kushner. So I've been trading the markets for over 20 plus years. I've traded stocks, options, futures. I've traded Forex for over 12 years. Uh, my background was I had a an automotive parts business that I started when I was 18 years old. And I had that business for over 28 years before I sold it in 2005. And since then, I've been a full-time trader. So like most of you have a probe, <laughs> like most of you, you probably have a whole shelf or a hard drive full of indicators, trading systems that came with a lot of empty promises of helping you become more profitable and more consistent trader. I know that I have a bunch of hard drives with all kinds of stuff on it. And this is going back, you know, when hard drives, a, a, a really big hard drive was one gig, <laughs> you know, but anyways. Uh, so I saw a webinar that Mark Sachs did and I saw the money flow tracker system. And when I saw the system, I quickly realized that this methodology isn't based around the same old indicators that everybody else teaches, but more based on mathematical modeling and triple and quadruple screen analysis. So now I only trade with institutional money flow and it's made me a much more profitable trader and consistent. And now we're running over 70% win loss rate. Actually, this month, and I'll be showing that to you later, I think we're about at 84% win rate. Okay, so I personally trade six prop accounts. So in this webinar, I'm going to go show you how the past evaluations and become a funded trader, how the money flow tracker software works, the high probability setups, the unbreakable, and did I say unbreakable? Unbreakable rules to follow. And how I trade breakouts and sidestep losing trades. So today we had four trades that we sidestep losing trades. Okay. So uh, the presentation will be about 45 minutes or so. And it, for those who stay, we have a very special discount plus 
a package with some incredible bonuses. Okay. So what do you need to create trading success? You need four things, right? You need software to provide you with a competitive edge over all other traders. The second thing you need is that edge be able to track the direction of money flow. So when I talk about money flow, the rest of the webinar, I'm always talking about institutional money flow. Okay, it's always going to be everything. It's always about the institutional money flow. Right. The third thing you need is etched in stone rules to follow, and this will eliminate discretion. It's a well-known fact, and a study has been done that traders that trade a rules-based system do better overall in the long run than traders that don't. And the fourth one, which I believe is the most important, the one most important thing is patience to let the trade set up, okay? If you don't have patience and you have to click that button every time you're in front of the screen, we're gonna fix that. So I'm gonna go through the money flow tracker system and break it down in detail. Okay, but first I'm just gonna show you a few shots of trades that we've taken. Uh, these are a couple option trades, AMC, 139%, GME, 188%, Costco, 46%, Fastly, 84%. Now this is a trade we took on 30 year bonds. Now 30 year bonds, okay, is $31 a tick. So we got 41 ticks on this trade. And we were in this trade all day. Bonds just move slow. Okay, so we were in this trade about nine o'clock in the morning and we didn't, we had to exit the trade at the end before four o'clock. If you're trading a prop account, you have to be out of your positions at four o'clock. Otherwise, I would have probably held this, okay? And look, we would have probably made another 1200 bucks. All right, here's a trade on the Euro, you know? So now we'll, let's get into, into what I really like to get into. You know, looking at trades, pro, you know, profitable trades is great, all right? but understanding how the trades were taking and what you're looking for is a lot better. So it's likely you probably have a problem making money. Otherwise you probably wouldn't be here. Uh, so why, why do people have problem making money? First thing, you don't have the proper tools to manage your trades. We have uh, a platform a add on for Ninja Trader that we call the NDT. This is a big one. You over trade, you revenge trade, you make impulsive decisions, okay? This is the biggest one, one of the biggest ones here. You lack consistency. You trade with indicators that lag price. You lack a mathematical proven trade methodology. Now the money flow tracker is built off mathematical hot probabilities using our, and also using our AI system. And all these things just lead up to blowing accounts and blowing accounts and blowing accounts. So for you attending today, my commitment to you is to bring this to an end. Okay. So why do they say that 95 to 98% of traders go broke, right? These retail traders go broke because they're following the same old things that everybody else teaches, price action, MACD, Elliott Wave, Divergence, Fibonacci's, all this stuff. None of this has any future predictive properties, okay? I am not saying that our software can predict the future, but when, you, when we get a setup along with institutional money flow, it's very high probability trades, very high probability. So Mark Sachs, he developed the software and engineered the software. Uh, he has probably 25 years, I probably could fix this slide, of the field of applied mathematics. 
he did some work for the US Navy, for the US Army, for a couple of big corporations, I don't remember the names. And so he engineered the money flow tracker trade methodology that can radically change your trading performance and grow your trading account. So you've probably never seen a system like this, right? Because it's unique. And we have three rooms that we trade with traders all day long, right? So before we get into the money flow tracker software, I'd like to share with you my trade performance. I use an online trade journal. It's called Edgewonk. I'm, I'm not an affiliate. I'm not, I've been using this for a couple of years and it really helps me keep track of all my, well, how my trading is going. So every day I run my performance report in NinjaTrader. I go to the trades tab, I right click on the trades tab, and I export all the data from that day. And it exports it into an Excel sheet. And then every day at the end of the day, I go to imports, I click here. See, this was yesterday, this was the day before. Actually, I just put all, every one of them that I, um, uh, where is it? Uh, I can't find it, but I don't want to spend any time. Oh, here. And then here, these are all my uploads for the whole year. All right. And then I import them and it imports every trade. It imports the trade ID if you want. I don't need that. It just imports everything here. And then, so this is what we've done so far this month. All right. Uh, here is our equity curve. This is for the whole year, our equity curve, right? We're up uh, $87,000 this year, right? And look at our look at our profit factor is two to one. And this was showing our win rate of 73.31. But if you look at the win rate for the month, we're up 83% and look at our profit factor, our risk reward, three to one. All right. Uh, here are trades by day for the whole year. I can scratch this and get, oh, this is six months. It'll show six months. Look at how many winning days we have and look how many losing days we have. Had. Okay. So these are my trade performance uh, for the month. So how did we, somebody's asking, how have you done so far this year? Okay, so I can look at this in a heartbeat. So look, look at the months. 8,300, 4,000, 9,900, 6,000, 5,200, 9,000, 9,000, 18,000. September was 5,400. And so far in October, we're up 11,726. And then if you open up the date, it shows you the week. So this is the week from the 2nd to the 8th, from the 9th to the 15th. So look, the first week we did 4,800. The second week, 3,600, right? And that's how we got to 11,726, all right? So this is, you know, this is how um, I show my, my trades. I keep track of my, all of my trades. And let's see, all right, so let's move on. All right, so the market consists of many small retail traders, which are the small morals, plus one or more large institutional trader. Well, since we already know that most retail traders lose money, why would you wanna trade with them, right? You wanna trade with the big money. You wanna trade with the institutions. All right, so the money flow tracker system has three key metrics that determine money flow. The first thing is, Triple screen assessment of order flow. Triple screen assessment of correlative markets using our neural network or AI, based the same thing. AI used to be called neural networks back years and years and years ago. Now it's called AI. And triple screen assessment of the Laguerre for momentum. So what do we mean by triple screen assessment? So if your trading chart is a two minute, everything is multiple by three. So your mid time frame would be six and your 
high, next higher time frame would be 18. Since we trade with Unirac bars, we use range bars for our time frames. All right. So triple screen assessment of order flow. Right. That's the fir the first most powerful force that moves price. So when I say order flow, most people think of this, these charts with numbers on, on the right, on the left, on the top, on the side, on the bottom. It is virtually impossible for your brain to make sense of this on a consistent basis and be able to trade these candles and make good trading decision. It's, it, it's, you, it's almost impossible. I mean, I know some people do, but not most people can't. I know I couldn't, all right? So when we say triple screen assessment of order flow means we want order flow going down on the high time frame, the mid time frame, and your trading chart. So that's what triple screen assessment means, okay? So our order flow assessment looks at the delta of each candle and the two higher multiples, right? I like to keep things simple, right? If there's, if they can't, and I'll show you in a chart, okay? But we place these values in a 15 period SMA. And obviously if it's going up, it'll be green. Going down, it'll be red. If it's going sideways, it'll be yellow, right? But this is how we look at order flow. And let me just pull up a live chart because it's a lot easier for me to explain to you on a live chart, that's NQ. All right, here we go, right on NQ, okay? And I left my charts up today because I wanted to show you a live chart. Okay, so you see the outline of the candle? The outline of the candle is telling you, a red outline is telling you that the delta in this candle is negative. I like to keep things simple. There's more sellers than buyers in this candle. This candle, there's more buyers than sellers. Easy peasy, just like keeping it super simple. Okay? Some people have, like engineers have really bad minds when it comes to stuff like that because they want to know how everything works. Right? But it's simple. And we made it simple so everybody can trade with it. So red outlines means there's more sellers. Green outlines means there are more buyers. Now we use these wicks in these candles and I'll show you how we use the wicks in a little bit, All right? So next thing, triple screen assessment of the Laguerre for momentum, right? So the second most powerful force that moves price, if you don't have momentum, you have, it, you have no movement. So uh, we use the, the wicks. So I wanted to show you the wicks. So you see these wicks, we're the only one that has wicks inside a Ranko bar. Because when Ranko bars can be deceiving. If you don't have the wicks, you know, you'd have to look at the price movement on the side to see where price is in the candle. Because price could come all the way up here, you know, and back. So when you have a close and the next candle opens and closes, and doesn't go below the low here. So this wick, this candle opened and closed right away. This candle opened, went up a few ticks, and then went down and closed. This one can't close right away. This one went up a few ticks, and so on, so on, so on. So when you have um, candles that have, let me see if I can find something really easy to understand. Uh, let's see. And we just had some earnings out, so NQ was going wacko. Um, so we should be able to see something here. Um, so basically, when you have all little wicks, you know, you have a lot of momentum. Okay, so I, I can't find any. You have a lot of momentum, right? So again, acceleration when you have little wicks and will wicks on the sound side. So the next thing we did was we took all these indicators, we added an algorithm and developed the modified Laguerre, right? So the modified Laguerre is an oscillator. 
but it's not like any other oscillator. It doesn't show divergence. It shows only the strength of trend, right? So when you have the, um, what do you call it? What was that? Oh, okay, the modified Laguerre. So when you have momentum going up on each time frame, you want them to go up on the higher, the mid, and the and the uh, your trading time frame. And what we did was we took all those indicators and we we put them in all percent K lines. We took all the percent K lines, we combined them, and then we added a algorithm to them. And that's what shows us the momentum, right? So the modified Laguerre, I know those two slides were out of order, I'm sorry. Um, so this is the modified Laguerre. So, and this is how our indicators are displayed. This is a live chart. See how they're all displayed in this type of display, like a ribbon display. It makes it easy, right? So when this goes below 20, this will turn red. When it goes above 20 and sloping up, it will be lime green. When it crosses above 80, it will turn green. And when it crosses below 80, it will turn orange sloping down. And they say it was sloping down and then it turned around and went up and it changed to lime green, All right? So the next thing it does is once it's pinned at 100 or at zero, you get the acceleration dots, okay? And then this will stay green. But if it doesn't stay at 100 and it drops down, see, we lost the acceleration dots here on this pullback. We lost the acceleration dots on this pullback, okay? You, that's where we get the acceleration dots. So next we'll get into the, um, the quant lines, okay, our AI neural network, whatever you feel like calling it these days. And that's the third most powerful force that moves price. Why? Right? So what we did was, and I'll, I'll get into the why, right? I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> we just got ahead of myself. I'm very passionate about trading. I love trading. I love teaching people how to trade. Um, so I get a little ahead of myself sometimes. Okay. So what we did was we took 28 market components. They're examined by the AI system for correlation. Now, most people don't pay enough attention to correlation. M nobody really teaches correlation, right? So what we did was, you know, if you take the Euro, if the Euro is going up, right? Don't you want to see the pound going up, the yen going up, the Australian dollar going up? Or in other words, if the dollar is getting stronger or weaker, don't you want to see it getting stronger or weaker across all markets? Um, like if the ES and the NQ and the RTY and the YM are going up, don't you want to see you know, them all going up? You don't want to see the NQ strong and, and YM and RTY weak and then ES flat. There's no correlation there, okay? So you want to see correlation. You know the old saying, a rising tide floats all boats? Well, that's kind of the way it works. It gives you higher probability trades, and that's what we shoot for, higher probability trades with institutional order flow. Okay, so then we took it a step further, and we added what we call the C2 indicator analysis. So now, the C2 brings in another time frame, right? Now we're not looking at triple screen assessment. Now we're assessment. We're looking at quadruple screen assessment. And I need to do something right here really quick and turn my speakers off so that my alerts don't keep going off. Okay, there we go. Let's go back here and, and here we go again. All right, and let's uh, display settings. Okay, there we go. So we bring in a fourth time frame. So now you're not looking at just three time 
frame buys and sells, you're looking at four time frame buys and sells, right? So we basically just did the same thing. We took the higher time frame and we multiplied it by three. And that is your fourth higher time frame. So putting it all together is really easy. You know, I know you're taking in all this information and this and that, but you know what? It's really easy. Once you see it, you'll understand. Okay, so the money flow tracker software. Here are the rules and the setups, right? The first thing we wanna see is a black background. I mean, not a, black, a green or a dark pink background, okay? The green or dark pink background gives us the three time frames in agreement. The next thing you want to see is the C2 indicator, which is displayed above the top of the candles by this stair stepping line. So we always trade with the C2. The next thing you want to see is the trend line above the 15. So this is the 15, the dot dash line, and the trend line is the solid line. So you always want to see them the same color and you want to see them on top you always want to see the trend line on top of the, the uh, 15 going up and it'll be below the 15 on going down. So in the program, we have pivots. This is a pivot. This is a pivot. We have pivots, higher time frame support resistance, right? In order to, to trade these breakouts, all right, and sidestep losing trades a lot of the time you always want to wait for a pullback candle you want a three-quarter candle to break the pivot three quarters of the body of the candle so this would be a maybe a half a third a half and that's three quarters or more right and then you must wait for the pullback candle okay you want both quad lines the top one is a short term the bottom one is the long term. You want the multiple time frame Laguerre for momentum. Okay, in agreement, everything's green. And you want the modified Laguerre to be pinned at 100 or zero so you get the acceleration dots here. So you take this setup and boom, 63 ticks. $630 per contract. And it's simple. Everything green, acceleration dots, C2, colored background, take the trade. All right. So, what does the Money Flow Tracker software give you? It gives you clear and exact entries because we follow the rules and we trade the rules. It gives you clear and exact targets. We have ATMs for all the markets that we trade. Okay, so all the targets are pre-configured. Okay, any questions? You can type any questions you want in and before I get into the pullback and go strategy, nobody? Everybody got what I'm... Okay, Charles. Well, I'll tell you, we do very well with the money flow tracker. All right. So I'm going to teach you how I trade breakouts and sidestep a lot of losing trades. As a matter of fact, I have one here that I marked up from today because it was a perfect one that we sidestep. And I wanted to be able to show that uh where is it i believe it was on uh i'm not going to waste too much time on this but it was had to be this morning maybe it wasn't on nq yeah it was on nq all right i'm not going to waste any more time on it because oh here i i found it okay all right whatever all right the, i call it the pull back and go so what did it do? So remember the rule, the pivot has, it has to break the pivot. The shaded area is higher time frame support in this case, right? So here's the pivot, here's the support. 
has to break by three quarters of a candle. Then we get a pullback candle, right? As we get the pullback candle, what we do is, let me get my drawing pen here real quick. This is easier for, you to, me to under, for you to understand if I draw it. So as this candle pulls back about half a candle, right? It's about half a candle. We click on our NDT, there's a button on there that says sell on down close, and it places an order one tick below this candle. All right? Got me? So why do we do this? We do this so if this is broke a support level, it pulled back. We place the order. What happens? This pulls back, pulls back, pulls back, and goes up like this. Right? We don't get filled, and as soon as this candle closes up, the order gets automatically canceled. Automatically canceled. Um, and that's why we do this, you know, and that's why how we sidestep a lot of losing trades. Because think about it. What do most traders do when they're trading breakouts? All right. Oh, let me erase these drawing tools. Um, okay. When they're trading breakouts, well, the market's breaking out. I got to get in. I got to get in. It's going to go to the it, whatever, right? So they get in, right? The market pulls back, stops them out, and along and down it goes, right? Or it pulls back and it keeps going up, right? We don't trade breakouts that way. We don't trade anything that way, right? We follow the rules. This is the pullback and go strategy. Here's one that I traded on RTY. You see my orders here, right? It broke the pivot, three quarters of a candle right here. Placed the order. Market came all the way down here and then went all the way back up here. Got me in, hit my first profit target and second profit target. Here's one on crude oil. Here's one on the Canadian dollar. Here's a trade on gold for six, 60 ticks. This is a trade that I took on CL. This trade broke the pivot, but you see how small these wicks are? These candles pretty much probably formed in less than a second, right? When I see candles that form really fast like that, I'm very leery very leery, but I followed the rules. I waited for the pullback. I placed the order as the candle was pulling back. One tick below, it pulled back and went down, right? And that get me in the trade and then went pulled back again, right? But I didn't get stopped out. And then it ended up closing down and down it went and down it went and down it. I trade two contracts. I take First profit target at 10, stop goes to break even. And then we exit when the 15 change from red to yellow. So we have a feature called exit online change and it keeps you in the trades longer, right? So let's see one second, where is she? Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about my favorite subject. One of my favorite subjects. Let me find my MNQ chart. Okay, so the Money Flow Tracker Auto Trader. Now, the Money Flow Tracker Auto Trader is really a strategy that just follows the rules. It just follows the rules. We trade this only on MNQ. Right, only on MNQ, and we use a 24 bar Ranko bar. That's a huge bar considering on CL we trade a two Ranko bar, and on NQ we trade an eight Ranko bar. So, why do we do this? It's because in order for a trend to be on a 24 bar Uniranko bar, in order for you to, you must have a good trend. 
Otherwise, if you use a smaller bar, you might get taken into trades in here that you don't want to. So the trend has to be, you know, you know, has to be, you know, has to be developed. And if you don't have the trend developed, it's not going to trade. And it will only take trades when, just like you would, the long and short term quants green, the multiple time frame Laguerre green, the uh, modified Laguerre, uh, modified Laguerre on the bottom, green pinned at 100. So you got the acceleration dots. The trend line and the 15 have to be in the correct position. Okay, this was a trade, 704 ticks. This was another trade, right? 665 ticks. This was a trade, 1,016 ticks. This trade ran from basically 9.30 in the morning till about 1.45-ish or whatever. And it takes the first profit target off at 80 ticks. And then it the uh, the second profit target exited on the 15 changing color. And this little tri uh, rectangle in the top right tells you the color of the the 15. So if this flashes yellow, it will exit the trade. Okay, here's another one, 792 ticks. Now, this won't trade if there's not at least three bars, 80 ticks to the first profit target, it will not take the trade. If there's a pivot or higher time frame resistance or support, it will not trade into those areas. Let me go back. All right, it will wait till three quarters of a candle breaks that area and then it will take the trade. So basically the same rules that I have. The only thing it doesn't do is look for a pullback. It just takes it, right? And then exit on line change, all right? This is the equity curves on them. All right, let me just take a little bit of, a little of water here. So I'm going to talk about evaluations or uh, some company calls valuations. Some people call it, um, forget what the name is, uh, but we'll get into that. Right? Okay, so this is the problem that most people have, right? They focus on the carrot, right? They focus on the carrot instead of the process. You have to focus on the process. If you focus on the process, the carrot will come, right? And most people, you know, you got to realize the challenges, that's what the name, challenges or combines or whatever. I mean, everybody, every company seems to have a different name, right? Are really designed to make you fail because of the parameters that they put in place. Like how many days, trading days to pass, the trailing drawdown, right? Uh, all this ca causes sloppy trading, revenge trading, impulse trading. You know, it's like this. You know, if you sign up for a uh, evaluation from either whatever prop firm you're using, right? So they give you your first, you pay for 30 days, and then you have to pay every 30 days until you pass, you know? So, what happens is people do good and you know and they're like well i still i i only need to make a thousand dollars before i have to renew my subscription i really don't want to renew my subscription so then they get they get sloppy you know like i wrote here sloppy revenge trading impulse trading to try to make that thousand dollars because they don't want to pay another month right that's not the way to do it. First of all, most of them have big discounts, 80% off, 90% off. I just signed up for some accounts, you know, it was like 16 bucks for a month for a 50, 50K, you know, account. You know, they're running like 90% off right now. So, you know, you gotta realize this is the trader's death spiral, right? And, you know, what happens with most traders and why they fail is they get a new strategy, what looks good, right? They have some initial success. 
Then they go on a losing streak, the inevitable losing streak, right? Then they decide, well, you know what? Maybe I can change the strategy, change the rules a little bit, make it better, right? And, you know, expecting better results. And then again, some losers come. So really quick, we did, I did a thing in the room, uh, a lesson in the room the other day, two weeks ago, right? And what we did was there's a, I did a, there's a website that's online flip of the coin, right? Just flip of the coin. You just click the button. It's either going to be heads or it's going to be on tails, right? So we did a couple of sample sizes, right? I'm sorry. I don't know keep saying right today. I never do that, right? The first sample size we had five, the first five trades were winners. The next three trades were losers, and then we had a winner and a loser, right? So our winners were $5, our losers were $1, right? We still made money even though we were only right 60% of the time. Then we did it again, right? The This side time we did it, we had the first four trades were losers. Then the next three trades were winners and the next three trades were losers, okay? So we had seven losers and three winners, and we still made money. And we did it again, right? Bottom line is we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven losers and three winners, right? Then we said, you know what? Let's do it 20 times. Right? We lost $10 and we made $35. So what's the point of this? The point of this is that it doesn't matter if you change the strategy, try to make it better. Don't change something that's not broken. Just because you have a few losing trades, you never know when the winning streak is going to happen. Just like you never know when the losing streak is going to happen. And that's why it's important to have a good win percent rate and good um, profit factors. All right. So most people think they sign up for an account, a 50K account, and their drawdown is 2,500, right? You, most people think, well, you know, I'm trading 50K account. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're trading a $2,500 account. Your drawdown is your account size. Just like if you put $2,500 in an account and you traded that $2,500 and you lose it, it's gone. Just like if you, you sign up for an evaluation, your drawdown is $2,500, you hit your drawdown, the account is gone. But the account is gone, only cost you, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, whatever bucks. So you only lost really 40 bucks. Then you sign up for another account and you, you go at it again, okay? But you're not trading a 50K account. You're trading a $2,500 account. And I tell everybody, trade micros. You'll start off trading micros. When I pass evaluations, you gotta realize something. You, once you pass in the evaluation, you have to do this again. But once your account gets, let's say on a $50,000 account, once your account gets to 52,600, that's when your trailing drawdown goes away and you have a permanent stop at 50,100. That's it. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about percent win rate and your risk reward. So the sweet spot is basically if you're 20% win rate and you're trading four to one, you're always going to be a, you're going to be a break even. Right? We're way below above 60% win rate, and let's say we're three to one, so we're always we're going to be profitable. So the chances of you blowing your account is is very minimal. Uh, minimal. I'm sorry if you have good win rates. Do you know that most professional traders only have a 40% or 30% win rate? But once they're out of the trade, they're out. They don't let they don't lose very much, but they win a lot 
when they do win. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So rather than avoid risk, take intelligent risks, and this will give you that competitive edge. Remember in the beginning, I talked about having an edge. You know, be a successful trader, you have to have an edge. And I really like this because this little guy's got his hard hat on and he's still gonna get the cheese. All right, so let's move on. Trading success equals financial freedom. No financial pressure, you work from home, you have no boss, you have no commute. So I'm gonna go into advantages of being a full-time trader. I'm gonna go through this really quick. What are the advantages? You have a lot of flexibility as far as your time, okay? Uh, you're your own boss. You have nobody telling you what to do. If you don't want to trade one day, you don't have to trade one day. Hey, look, you know, I didn't show you in my Edgewalk Trade Journal, but we have lots of days we don't take trades. And uh, one thing you can't do as a trader, you can never stop learning, okay? Right? The money, you have that financial freedom and you have a good work-life balance. And before I go any further, I wanted to show you something that I kind of forgot earlier. And this is an edge wonk. And I just want to show you something. So look, October, we didn't trade one, two, and today's results basically break even. I didn't upload them anyways, but I'm going to show you. September, we didn't trade one, two, three, four, five, six months. I mean, six days, Ugh, six months, I'd be killing myself. August, we didn't trade four days. But look at July. Okay, look at July and look what we did in July. 80, almost 9,000. Look how many days we didn't trade in July. We didn't trade the fourth, it was a holiday, so I'm not counting that day. So one, and I was away for these days, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, seven out of 20 trading days, we didn't trade. And we still did 9,000. June, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trading days in June. June, we still did 9,000. So why don't I, why is this important information? Okay, same thing with May, one, two, three, four, five, six. The point is, is that the days that we didn't trade, why didn't we trade? We didn't trade because we didn't have setups. And if the market is range bound or choppy, we, don't we won't get setups. We'll only get setups in a trending, when the market's trending, okay? I want to show you something here. Why is this? Okay. And this is going to be on the uh, auto trader. Okay. This was the auto trader today. Okay. I didn't take this trade because I made a mistake and I forgot to turn mine on usually. And I loaded the wrong template, but anyways, but these trades were here and a bunch of people in my room took these trades. So this trade here, this was this morning when at the market open, and actually a couple of them took these trades and then they said they were done for the day and they left. And next thing I know, half the people have gone out of the room. And I've taught them in the room, when you've, when you've done well for the day, leave. Like it's like when you're in a casino and, you, and you're up a lot, leave. <laughs> but anyways, it took these trades. This first trade was 228 ticks. We got the first profit target and then uh, 228 ticks. This one here was in the after was in around 12, right? It took this trade here. See, this candle broke the pivot right behind. There's a blue line by three quarters. It took would take the trade here, exit on line trade. This trade was 375 ticks. But look, it won't trade in here because it's choppy and there's no trend. And and nothing below here was lined up. It took the trade here because everything here below was red, 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 red. Pin to zero, acceleration dots. Right? Actually, I need to can get rid of these because I'm not using those. 
right? The same thing here. It took the trade here. Everything was red, 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 pinned at zero, acceleration dots, exit on line change. All right, so that's how it works. Uh, I love the auto trade, you know, but anyway, so now this now the most powerful software and trading methodology is available to the small retail trader. Uh, Greg, those I trade, sometimes I trade eight mini, mini macros, sometimes I trade four micros. It depends on the market and what I feel is, you know, what I want to do. Look, we have people that all they do is trade with the auto trader. They still have jobs. They put the thing on. It's the set. The settings in there are. It will exit the trade right before the market closes. Ten seconds before the market closes, if it's in a trade, and it won't take another trade. Man. So. Um, and it's, you can set it to go on and off. You can set profit targets, but we have a template for that. Okay, so now there's two choices. The first choice is do nothing and continue on your path. And if you're making money uh, and you're successful, then I wish you all the luck, all the uh, you know success and keep doing what you're doing. All right, but I would take, I would be willing to guess that most people are looking at the second out option. Okay, if you took action today and trade, you know, join the thousands of traders that we have in our system that trade with the money flow tracker, work for give or take an hour here. You know, there are some days where I, I make a couple of trades and I'm done for the day, you know, like by 10:15. And when I do that, even I'm running the room still, I still trade. I just trade on SIM or what I'm going to start doing is just trading a micro, two micros, you know, just to, you know, to continue on trading. Okay. All right. So the money flow tracker software, the benefits and features. It's easy to learn. It's perfect for beginners, perfect for any account size. You can trade futures, forex, stocks, or options with it. So for the first 10 traders that come aboard, so Rory, are you here? Let me see if he did that. Uh, yeah, he did put the, there's a link in the chat box in the go to webinar. Okay. Okay. So you'll get the market scanner. So let me pull up my, scanner and i'll show you where is it uh not that a market analyzer we call it so this is my market analyzer. so, so what is this telling me well certain markets we trade on certain bar sizes so nq we trade on an 8 20 40. so when this turns red or green this column here that I go and look at the market, that market. RTY and YN, we trade on a 4, 10, 20 bar, right? So I look at this column for them. ES, we don't really trade it, but we trade it on a 4, 2, 4, 8, and CL, we trade on a 2, 5, 10, right? Shows me my volume. I want to see my ATR. I have it to how many days to roll over, and also I want to see my lag times. Okay, the lag times between my computer and the market. All right, so you will get the market scanner is a $995 value. So the NDT, remember I showed you the, I talked about the NDT uh, as our uh, uh, execution platform. So the NDT, you know, you put your market in here, you put your order type, you put your ATM, and once that candle pulls back, if it's in a downtrend, when it pulls back halfway, all you do is click on sell on down close. Now, I where is my control center strategies? 
Okay, so I'll show you quickly. So there's the NDT on NQ. And I don't know if it's going to work because the market's closed. Probably not, but I'll try it. So if this broke, I would click on sell on downgrade. Okay, it is working. All right, and that's how it does. Or if I want to close it, right? Because the market's closed, it's not taking the order away. See? Um, or if you want to buy an up close, you know, it's it's just like it's just like this picture. Right? That's a $14.99 value. You get the master class series, which is on futures, forex, stocks, and options. These are very well done series. They're really good. I've watched them a bunch of times. Um, you get a month in my trading room, right? So there was a study done by this guy, Dr. Allen, and he reviewed a bunch of trading websites and evaluated them using several factors, including transparency, proven track record, the likelihood of them assisting traders with educational materials. And we came out on top. And this was published in Traders World and Stock and Commodities Magazine. And we're really proud of that. Okay. So here's the offer that we're doing today. The Money Flow Tracker System. Normally it's $27.97 a year. We're giving a thousand dollars off for at $17.97 per year. If you want to do a quarterly, it's $1,097 quarterly. We're giving $500 off. That's $597. If you want to do a monthly from $397, we're giving $100 off at $297. Now, there's a link in the chat. And the link in the chat comes up and it looks just like this. Right? So for the first 10 people that sign up, you're going to get these bonuses. You're going to get the auto trader, which is a $29.97 value. The NDT, we already saw what it was, the market scanner, a month in my trade room, all the training videos. You'll get your all your software installed. You'll make an appointment with Charles and he'll come on your computer, install everything, make sure everything is right and up and running for you. All right. So this is a really good deal right now. We're doing $17.97 for the year. So what you do is you click on the link in the chat and this page will pop up. You go down here, you click here. Money flow tracker, you pick the subscription you want annually, mo annually, monthly, quarterly, right? And then you go down here on the bottom and just add it to cart. And once you add it to cart, then you come down to the bottom here and you put in your 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 coupon code. So it was save dollar sign one thousand, and then apply it, and it changes from twenty nine ninety seven to seventeen ninety seven. All right. So that's how you do it. Or if you like you can put your name and your phone number in the questions box and either myself or Rory will call you after the webinar. Some people don't like to put their credit card information. You know, some people don't like to do online sales. A lot of people like to do face-to-face. -face. It all depends. Did we make money today? Actually, we think we lost like 150 bucks today. The markets were choppy. I had to leave a little early from my normal trading hours. Um, so, but the markets were really choppy today, really choppy this morning. But you know what? Even though we didn't make money today, right? Look what we did. Yesterday was dead. We took one, we took three trades. We had Two losers and a nice winner, we ended up break even. But Monday we made 880. Right? Last week we had Monday was 1215. Tuesday was 2192. Wednesday and Thursday we lost money. Right? But doesn't matter on a daily basis. We don't look at it on a daily basis. We're up eleven thousand seven hundred and twenty-six dollars in October. This week. 
we're up nine hundred ten dollars. Okay, so I don't use I don't go by did I make money today? Did I lose money today? Did I make a lot of money yesterday? Did I lose a little money today? I don't go by that, and that's not the right way to go about trading. All right, you're you're welcome, Alan. You know what? I like I said before, I'm a very passionate about trading. I I live, breathe, eat trading sometimes, uh, and the uh, sim similar to this. I'll show you something really quick. I know exactly where it is. It's, you know, sometimes I feel like this. Uh, let's see, photos. All right. Uh, let's see, I don't find it right here. Oh, here it is. I found this, and I, I, this is a, a great thing. I know he's thinking about other women. No, he's thinking about chart patterns. <laughs> so, all right, let's keep going. So here's my commitment to you. So when you subscribe to the Money Flow Tracker software, it's to help you become a successful trader. Remember, if you're not successful, it's not your fault. Again, if you're not successful, it's not your fault. You're just not using the right tools to be successful, okay? And what I mean by that is try hammering a nail with a screwdriver. You'll hit it and you'll hit it and eventually you'll get it in there, but it'll take a lot, right? But if you have the right tools, then it's easy. Take a hammer, couple of swings, it's, it's in there, okay? The problem that most people have, right? And let me just get through. So the Money Flow Tracker software is totally new, unique and will give you that edge to trade with institutional order flows. Institutional order flows, okay? That is the key. So here's my commitment, is to teach you not just how to read the setups, but also help you develop a mental mindset you must have in order to achieve financial independence. We work on mental mindsets all the time. Maybe, you know, and it, because it's important, okay? You have mental capital. Do you wanna spend mental capital or do you wanna save mental capital? So the way I look at that is like, if you trade and you take trades that aren't qualified setups according to our rules, then you, and you lose money, then you just spent your mental capital. But if you take a trade, I took trades this morning that that didn't work out, okay? But they were qualified setups. So it's the flip of the coin thing. Maybe you have one trade to loser, maybe another trade to loser, and then you get another trade and that's a nice winner covers the losers that's three to one means that for each one winning trade i should be able to cover two to three losing trades because that's what happened today i had one nice winning trade and it covered two small losing trades all right so mike put his name in um anybody else if you put your name and your phone number in let me ask Rory how many people already signed up. Okay, so he says he's got three left, but he said anybody that signs up in this webinar, he will go past the 10, 10 people. So if you'd like to sign up, you could put your name and your phone number in the questions box if you don't want to do it online. I like to do it online. It's just easier. Um, right. And if we do call you, we'll and you say, hey, listen, this isn't for me. We're not interested. We won't bother you. You're not like other companies. I mean, I had a company. I kept telling them, no, 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 no. Finally, I had to block their block it. All right. So look, it's a well-known fact that 95 to 98 percent of day traders, swing traders lose money. So what? So they take their money and they flush it. That's really what they're doing. And that's what most retail traders do, but not our traders. Since we trade with institutional money flow, whoever's making the money on the other side is taking the retail traders, right? So again, 
the money flow tracker software you'll get all these bonuses the auto trader the ndt the market scanner one month in the room all the video tutorials and installation software for $17.97 for a year, $5.97 for a quarter, or $2.97 for a month. Okay. Um, and this is has about, I don't know, uh, I went too far. Um, so this is a video recording of about 40 different testimonials. And this woman signed up for the money flow tracker with Mark Sachs. And Mark taught, she says here, Mark taught me things. She didn't know anything about trading. Nothing, zero. Nothing, not even what's a ninja trader. Mark took her by the hand, taught her about ninja trader, sat her down and said to her, okay, uh, here's, a, here's a chart. Uh, let's see, let's do on... Uh, Where's that NQ chart again? Oh, here it is. He said to her, okay, sat her down. Let me find a setup. Let's see. All right, uh, I'll get rid of this. He said, what I want you to do is when you see this green background and you see their stair stepping line on top, and you see the thick line above the thin line. <laughs> and if you have any of these uh, horizontal lines in the way, wait until they break by three quarter candles and wait for pullback candle with a wick in here. And when you do get, get that, you either click on buy on up close or sell on down close. And that's all I want you to do. So sit here in front of these charts and just wait for that to happen. And when it happens, you click the button. So she did, and she learned a lot from Mark. And now she's a six figure trader and she doesn't trade every day either because if she doesn't have set up, she doesn't trade. Okay, here's some other testimonials that were written in. Now, this is a guy that's in my trade room that when he was sitting in the webinar with me, just like you guys are, he said to me, I don't know if I can do this. I'm the world's worst trader. That's a pretty bold statement. <laughs> uh, so I said to him, if you get the software, I'll work with you. So just to make a long story short, he said the money flow software along with David's method only rules allows me to act like a robot and limit any guesswork or emotions for my trading. He uses the NDT, allows us to push the button to enter a trade. So every day it's simple for him now. C setup, push button, C setup, push button, C setup, push button. And that's all he does. And now he's he has 10 prop accounts with Apex and 10 prop accounts with Blue Knox. All right, so it can be done. But like I said in the beginning, if you don't have patience and discipline to wait for the setups, I don't care what system you trade, it doesn't matter you won't be successful. You have to have a plan and you have to trade your plan and you must trade with institutional order flow. So how do we know when institutional order flow is? See these numbers on the bottom? I moved my red triangle to the bottom. I didn't want it up on top. We have a certain amount of contracts per minute that have to go through the market for NQ, which is over 1500 contracts, which is good volume which means there's probably institutional order flow in there. We don't trade it below that. So that's how we tell when institutional order flow is coming into the market. Really simple. So again, this is the system, this is the prices that, you know, 1797 for the first, for a year, or 597 for a quarter or 297, and plus you'll get all these bonuses included for the same price, for the same subscription. Okay, uh, again, if you're interested and you'd like to talk to Rory or myself, you know, if you put your name and your phone number in the questions box, we'll give you a call after the webinar.
And that's pretty much it. Any questions? Any questions? No questions, huh? Okay. All right, so let me just put this here again. And if there's no questions, then I guess everybody understood everything I said. And if you would like, you could also call us at 786-732-4656. All right, so Mike, uh, Rory's gonna give you a call in a little bit. And, oh, he answered a couple questions. All right, all right, everybody. Thank you for attending. I hope I, you learned something. I hope to see you in my trade room tomorrow or the next day and have a great evening. God bless everybody and God bless the United States of America and everybody over in Israel that's going through this major terrorist thing. Have a good day. Bye-bye.